South Korea's fifth-generation KFX fighter program. Korean Aerospace Industries and Indonesia have reached an agreement for the development of their next-generation KFX or FX fighter aircraft program. The agreement was signed by South Korea's only aircraft manufacturer and the Indonesian Ministry of Defense. Also included in the deal was Indonesian contractor PT Durgantaro Indonesia. PTDI will send 100 engineers to South Korea in May to participate in the aircraft's structural development. Under the agreement, Indonesia will initially front 1% of the bill, with its contribution set to increase to above 2% after 2017, according to Yonhap News Agency. Indonesia will fund 20% of the $7.2 billion program, which aims to replace Indonesia's aging fleet of F-4 and F-5 aircraft. Indonesia will procure two squadrons of the aircraft. Successful development of the KFX will expand bilateral ties between South Korea and Indonesia in the areas of national defense and economic cooperation, Kai President Ha Sung Yong said in a statement. The KFX aircraft, referred to as the FX in Indonesia, will be designed to be a twin-engine fifth-generation multi-role fighter. Under the procurement plan, South Korea ordered 120 planes, and hopes to sell a further 600 planes to other countries, while Indonesia will receive 50. Program Management on Wednesday for Development of the KFX Fighter Aircraft the opening of the joint KFX program will not only help the two countries exchange views on pending issues during the KFX project but also allow them to effectively fine-tune differences, Yong Kwang Sun, Director General for the KFX program group at the DAPA, said in a statement. DAPA is South Korea's defense acquisition program agency. Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration, the radar to be developed for an indigenously made fighter KFX program will be active electronically scanned array radar. ASA radar signals are spread out across a band of frequencies and are difficult to detect, adding a degree of stealth to the platform using it. Further negotiations between Hanworth Ailes and the military will now take place and a contract it is expected to be awarded in June for ASA radars, the report said. The technological capacities and cost efficiency were the two main categories in selecting the priority negotiation partner, along with security and cooperation with small and medium enterprises, said a military official and he added. Development of the fighter is currently in the preliminary design phase. A prototype of the jet is expected to take to the air in 2021 or 2022. The fighter is expected to be completed by 2025. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.